someone watching? Oh. I guess someone is watching me. Hello. So, I'm at the movies. As you might have figured out. And I just watched another little film. Another revisit of an old childhood classic? Question mark. I watched with the boyfriend. The boyfriend. The beagle boyfriend. He says I'm going to do that every time I bring him up. That movie was Rockadoodle. Yeah, Rockadoodle. The Don Bluth classic with a question mark. Yeah, that movie is um odd. It has a reputation of being weird and bad. So is it? Yes, it is weird. Is it bad? I'm going to say not as bad bad as the reputation it for it is. It's not great, but it's serviceable. And it's held up by the fact that it's so weird. The movie feels like a fever dream in progress, which, considering there's a Wizard of Oz framing device on the thing, kind of is a fever, fever dream, and you could use that to excuse a lot of the weird logic issues, we're going to say. So, anyways... Rockadoodle. It was created by Don Bluth and his team. Don Bluth being of Dragon's Lair and Land Before Time and Secret of Secret of Nymph of Nim Nimoth Nimoth Secret of Nimoy Secret of Limer Nimoy. Yeah, those movies. And he kept going for a while. And this one, Rockadoodle, is a weird tribute to Elvis and the '50s era type music stuff. Alongside being an adaption of a Italian, if I recall, a children's book through an Elvis Americana filter. Also, it's in the 60s, question mark. It's a weird one. So you have a kid named Edmund who gets told a story about a chicken who brings his son up with his rooster crowing. Until he doesn't, and it all of his farm animal friends kick him to the, to the road immediately because they suck. And then the human kid gets cracked upside the head during a tornado or storm or whatever. And then the Duke of Al shows up, and that's why everyone in my sector remembers this movie. The Duke of Owls is one of those character designs and performances by Christopher Plummer, no less that stuck in the mind for quite a few people and led to, um, let's say the development of some feelings and preferences in our adult lives will it go with. Yeah, he's horny hot. Duke of Owls, really good. Very horny. Very fun fey villain. Great villain. Pretty good songs, too, from him. The rest of the songs in this movie are Eh, fine. The Elvis and Pert things are good. Everything else kind of... Mm. Well, actually, no. The songs aren't bad. There's not... There are a couple that are... The tying your shoe thing sucks ass, but the rest of them are decent. But yes. Edmund meets Duke of Owls. Duke of Owls wants to eat him, as you do, and turns him into a cat. Into a kitten. And now... And why he's now the superior species as a cat, the kid don't appreciate it. He's a whiny little brat. And then shenanigans and adventure happens. And we get the memes that occurred. Most of the, I'm a furry bit for that kid. I had actually, I had not actually rewatched this movie since, I'm guessing I'm going to call the, the, the nostalgia critic reviewing it the last time I watched it. If you want to go with that. I'm ashamed as well. But yeah. Movie's a weird fever dream. It goes pretty good quick pace, honestly. As Edmund has a bunch of the other farm animals who have realized, oh wait, we kicked out the dude who was keeping away the killer owls from our farm trying to eat us. Let's go find him, because we're idiots. So, Edmund teams up with the dog and a mouse and a magpie, question mark, voiced by Mandark. So he has a "Eh, Mandark voice, that voice. And the character design is claims to be a magpie, acts like a woodpecker, mostly except for one time where it does the magpie shiny thing, and is dressed like a valet. There's some weird designs in this movie. 
some great ones like Duke of Owls. Yes. Edmund's cute, has the little um, Davy Crockett outfit on there. It works. Uh, Chanticleer. Elvis outfits. It works. Best uh, design of the whole thing is the chicken girlfriend whose name I forget. I'm sorry. And she's the girl, and she's um, Audrey from Little Shop of Horror. So she has that voice, and she gets a, a song number, and it's pretty good. I have a bad memory. I will forget my own name. Aside from the fact that everyone is Canada eventually, so it makes it easy for easy to remember by that part. But yes, the Edmund and these characters go to find Tante Claire, who has gone to the city, which. I thought was Vegas from my memory, but don't look like it in terms of the skyline. Might be Reno of all places, actually. That'd be funny. Goes there, and he has become Elvis. He's got the rhinestone outfits and singing and dancing and doing movies and stuff. His producer is this fat fox with watermelon pants, who is also really, really horny good design. And I think he is meant to be a parody of Elvis's actual manager, who was being played by Tom Hanks recently in that Elvis biopic. So this could be Tom Hanks's evil fat Sona uh, fox, watermelon pants. There's a lot of weird stuff in this movie, honestly. A lot. I'm not even going to talk about the weird part penguin and lobster outfit section. So. Characters go to find Chanticleer, convince him to come back. Stuff happens. They go save the farm, yada, 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 bing, bing, boom. So, this movie is not called good, but it's very interesting. It's entertaining, mostly because of how damn weird it is and the design and artistic choices of the thing. It is not, it is unfairly called his worst movie. It is not. Have you seen Troll in Central Park? That is dog shit. That is his worst film by a country mile. Rockadoodle is entertaining. So yeah. Is it worth a rewatch? I say yes just to see how weird it gets. Like, Don Blue's entire catalog is kind of weird. This one's really weird. So give it a look. Especially if you are, have a thought, any kind of memory of this thing, or... At least want me to know what's behind the meme of I'm a furry. There's a little more to it than just the meme. There's other memes and horny things. Watch it. Speaking of things you should watch, look at my Patreon. Watch my other YouTube videos. Check out the pornography I make on Twitter, Furfanity, uh, other sites. Blue Sky, if you, if you enjoy websites like Twitter that don't suck. Things like that. I am going to sneak out of here before they realize I, I did not 